Science is based on asking questions. Scientists constantly question each other's ideas, evidence, conclusions. Scientific knowledge is what survived the process of questioning, and sometimes it can be brutal. Broad established theories like evolution and anthropogenic climate change have survived decades or more of questioning by tens of thousands of scientists in different fields, organizations, even countries. There is always more to learn, and every new study in these fields questions them. But at some point, the evidence is so overwhelming that we have to accept it so we can use it to question the frontiers. The problem isn't only that some refuse to accept the answers, but that they pretend that they're being scientific by questioning. They even accuse scientists of not allowing questions. But not only have these questions been asked, they've been answered. Some of these questions are so incredibly basic that it's obvious that the questioner doesn't realize how little they know. Everyone is welcome to participate in scientific questioning. But if the answers are in the literature, scientists aren't going to take the question seriously. They know the best questions are informed, so they learn what's known before reinventing the wheel. Those who want to contribute to science should plan on catching up, spending years to learn the methodologies, arguments, evidence, and so on. And if by that point the questions haven't been answered, Please ask away. That's how we learn. Until then, scientists aren't silencing anyone. There's no conspiracy. In fact, many do answer the questions. The real question is why those asking don't want to accept the answers.